You have mask? to understand, if you look, I mean, I have a mask right here. I put a mask on, you know, when I think I need it. Tonight, as an example, everybody's had a test, and you've had social distancing and all of the things that you have to, but I Just wear like masks rallies. when needed. When needed, I wear masks. Okay, let me ask. I don't have to, I don't wear masks like him. Every time you see him, he's got a mask. He could be speaking 200 feet away from it. He shows up with the biggest mask I've ever seen. <laughs> from now, we're going to win Minnesota. We're going to go and win four more beautiful years in the White House and do more than anybody's ever done before from the White House. By Easter, this had be gone away. By the warm weather, it'd be gone. Miraculous, like a miracle. And by the way, maybe you could inject some bleach in your arm and that would take care of it. This is the that same man. That was said sarcastically, that was seen, you know that. I, that I, was I, said sarcastically. And so here's the deal. We will end the pandemic and we will enter a new era of unprecedented prosperity, cooperation, and peace. As we pursue this bright future, we must hold accountable the nation which unleashed this plague onto the world, China. In the earliest days of the virus, China locked down travel domestically while allowing flights to leave China and infect the world. China condemned my travel ban on their country even as they canceled domestic flights and locked citizens in their homes. The Chinese government and the World Health Organization, which is virtually controlled by China, falsely declared that there was no evidence of human-to-human -human transmission. Later, they falsely said people without symptoms would not spread the disease. The United Nations must hold China accountable for their actions.